Hi guys, welcome to the Vosk booth and the very big announcement that the VMP2 uh, range has just been announced um, and I've already told Ross that it is quite easily the nicest gun they've ever released. As you can see, we have three different variants. We have a, uh, a short full auto yes, and semi-auto variant. M, M select fire. Semi -fire. Uh, we've then got a uh, DMR single fire and there is a second uh, single fire DMR platform but I've picked this one up because look how beautiful it is these things are going to be absolutely incredible outdoors um, give us a little sort of breakdown of what's going to be inside them yeah, uh, so barrel length and things like they're, that they're basically at the moment barrel lengths are kind of like not absolutely determined so yep. I won't give you an exact but we've got we've got two models that are unannounced as well but we've yep. got the whole modularity on the front so you can change them up anyway you'll be able to change the outer barrels and the inner barrels um, and um, yeah and then you've got the back it's all the reason it's called modulo is because this is all GBB real steel spec. Yep. Same with this barrel nut under there, TDC hop, nice. VSR hop rubber compatibility, VSR in a barrel compatibility, um, VMP one magazine compatibility, yep. which is now the VMP magazine. Ambidextrous, so both sides. You've got the mag release that can work on both sides. Yeah. Um, First thing I noticed when I looked at it was the sort of 1911 style pistol grip, which when I saw it was a little bit weird, but you grabbing this thing, it's Cool, the it? size, shape of it, very, very comfortable. And again, when you're going prone with this, it, it's got that almost vertical spec to it. Yeah. So any position that you're going to be fighting with this thing, you're going to be comfortable. So um, the idea is this is obviously, this is GBB spec anyway. Yeah. So if you wanted to take it off, you could chuck a mag pull on there or anything. There you go. Or you can just remove the 1911 panels we've put on there yeah. and put whatever you want on there. Throw some different stuff on there. So we've got a sliding stock on this one. We've got a fixed adjustable stock on here. Uh, again, uh, ambidextrous mag release, similar to things we've seen before. And we've got, again, the ambidextrous fire selector. So we've got a load of really, really cool options. Uh, bolt release on yeah. both sides and that um, quite easily wide uh, sort of large profile cocking handle. Reciprocating bolt both sides. Yeah. So again, if this is something that you're looking at, so we do have the semi and select fire model in short uh, and the DMR one and another DMR one. Um, those guys that have had the VMP1 before, you'll recognize the lugs at the front. So your um, suppressor off the VMP1, click straight on there, make this thing an absolute Savage good. bit of kit. What are we expecting power-wise out of? Power-wise at the moment, we've got this is going to run in around 450. Yep. The refuge rifle on the MD is going to run in around 430. Yep. This is going to be 330. So perfect power limits if you've got a different choice of how you want to run these things. And again, this one being full auto, it is just an assault platform. So you can run around it. You have but the, with that. The, the trigger units in here, yep. trigger groups will be pretty easily interchangeable. Yeah. So you can turn them into semi or nice. To that nice. Far. So this one could be quite easily modded to a DMR. If they can all that become one another, yep. basically. So amazing uh, compatibility and versatility with all three platforms. So let us know what you uh, would like. Are you looking at the DMR? Are you looking at the full auto? Or are you looking at the recce rifle? But let us know down below, comment and let us know which is your favorite. Uh, and we'll be back again for some more uh, Voss content very, very soon. Catch you in a bit. Bye.